How now, what news? He's almost supped. Where have you left the chamber? Has he asked for me? No, you're not, he has. We will proceed no further in this business. He hath honored me of late, and I have bought golden opinions from all sorts of people, which would be worn now in their newest gloss, not cast aside so soon. Was the hope drunk wherein you dressed yourself? Hath it slept since and wakes it now to look so green and pale at what it did so freely? From this time, such I account thy love. Art thou afeard to be the same in thine own act and valor as thou art in desire? Would thou have that which thou esteems the ornament of life and live a coward in thine own esteem, letting I dare not wait upon I would like the poor cat in the added... Pussy peace! I dare do all that may become a man. Who dares do more is none. What beast was it then that made you break this enterprise to me? When you durst do it, then you were a man. And to be more than what you were, you would be so much more than a man. No time, no place to then adhere, and yet you would make both. They have made themselves, and that their fitness now does unmake you. I've given suck, and know how tender it is to love the babe that milks me. I would, while it was smiling in my face, have plucked my nipple from its boneless gums and dashed its brains out, had I so sworn as you had done to this. If we should fail, we fail. But screw your courage to the sticking place and we'll not fail. When Duncan is asleep, the whereto rather shall his hard day's journey soundly invite him, his two chamberlains will I with wine and wassail so convince that memory the warder of the brain shall be a fume and the receipt of reason a limbeck only. When in swinish sleep their drenched natures lie as in a death, what cannot you and I perform upon the unguarded Duncan? What not put upon his spongy officers who shall bear the guilt of our great quell? Bring forth men, children only, for thy undaunted metal should compose nothing but males. <laughs> Might not be received when we have marked with blood those sleepy two of his own chamber, used their very daggers that they have done it. Who dares receive it other? For we shall make our griefs and clamors roar upon his death. I am settled. Bend up each corporal age into this terrible feat. Away and mock the time with fairy show. False heart. Most high but the false face doth know.